Hello, fellow cheapskates. So the only reason you'll be watching this video probably is if you do not have a license for one of the many few CAD processing software, you know, that only runs you a couple thousand dollars for a license. So don't worry, I understand. So I'm gonna go through in this video and show you how to import a geometry and then process it with some very simple processing techniques clean it up before you can mesh it. And I'll do another video where I'll mesh the things that I processed. This is just uh, some pretty simple overviews. We're gonna be doing things like uh, like a ruled connection, removing fillets or fillets. I don't even know how to say them. I know fillets a steak, so I don't think that's how you say it. And we'll also be looking at, you know, how to remove threads from a nut if you don't really care about modeling that. So what you first have to do is import your geometry so you go up here to file import and these are step files you want to make sure you click the type of file that they are i'm already here but you can you know type it in and then the ones that i'll be looking at are the the hex nut and the square screw okay so you know i really wanted to make this because when you do this like it's not too hard to figure that out but you know it like what is this i it's just a really wonky decision that they did to have this little tree up here i know some people do it but you've got these shape groups or these two things import as assemblies so you can kind of click on and off and then there's subtrees so this top one is the red screw and then you can even click the plus sign and keep going deeper and deeper into all the things that make this up you want to do that uh, but you can click on and off the checks to select them. But we're going to work with the nut first. So what I want to go through is how to remove these threads. You know, if you're not really modeling the threads of a nut and you're just trying to put it into a model and constrain it there for, you know, structural purposes or if you just want it to look nice or whatnot. And then I'm also going to remove these simple lines out here that you want to remove from meshing because any of these lines a mesh is going to follow it and you'd want it to follow this to this, but it's actually going to try and fit an element in here and it's just not going to look very good. So the first thing we're going to do is remove the threads. And so basically all we're going to do is delete the boundary on each side and then just select everything that's attached and it'll be very easy. So mainly you're going to be working over here in geometry tool, this tab over here. And what we're going to do to delete is go up to delete. Pretty simple. And then we're going to do any, you can also do face. I'm gonna click all of the faces out here. Anything that's connected to this outer part here, we wanna delete because it's gonna make it very easy to delete all of these. So instead of having to click all of these, we're just gonna delete the edges and then delete everything attached. Go in and that's it. And then we're gonna hit delete and then close. Oh wait, no, you don't have to close. And everything's been deleted, you can click in here and you would normally hit attached. I actually don't know where attached is in here. So something I'm just doing is propagate and then going to the angle and bumping that all the way up to 75. And it basically works the same as attached. So then it selects everything and then you can hit delete. And you can see it left a few little things like this is an edge. I think that's another edge. So what you can do, go to any and then area. Well, let's just, uh, close it again, open it any area and then we're going to delete this one first you want to drag over it all delete and then this may just be one single edge but it seems like there's if you click like an edge see there's a face here it won't delete it so you have to click the face and then delete and there you go so and then what we're going to do is just a rolled connection a rolled con connection is just taking this line and connecting it to this line doing the same over here so you do that in surface and then you go to loft and then you check ruled here you can click auto align and that's if you're clicking like a lot of lines and then um, connecting them all but since it's only one you can leave that off what we're going to do is going to click this one and then you're going to click this one and it's going to show you what it's going to look like and you can hit apply and then you're going to click this one and then this one and then apply so i did it this way um to point this out if you go into surface you create a surface off of this solid 
it's not going to make it part. So see, these are new parts over here. So this is technically not part of this nut. This is its own thing. You can get around that in loft by, um, actually you can't get around it in loft. Um, but what you want to do if you, when you do this is go to geometry tool, stitch here, and then you're going to click everything. So you can click through and manually click all this, or you can go to all faces, try to make solid. That's what you want to do. So I'm going to click area and I'm just going to select everything. So you're going to have all these, you're going to stitch all this together. And this is what you would do if you made a lot of different surfaces and you're trying to make it into a solid. So you're going to hit apply. And then there you go. Now we only have this solid again. So it made it all into one, one part. Next, what we want to do is, and this is going to be a lot easier to mesh if you don't care about the threads. Some people care about the threads. Next, what I'm going to show you how to do is suppress this line. What you're going to do is go to simplify and I'm wrong. You're going to go to heal and then you're going to go to edge up here, heal type edge, and then you're going to click suppress. And then you're just going to click the line and hit apply. So what you did is you suppressed it. So now it's not going to be used during the meshing. It's dotted. If you click it again and you hit apply again, it'll reactivate it. So along the line, if you want it back, you can click it, bring it back. This is a very useful thing. So what I would do is go through and I would suppress all of these out here so that it would make meshing it much easier. So yeah, that's how you would suppress lines and get rid of threads on a nut. Um, very simple. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to remove these rounded edges that you ever come across. These are called fillets, fillets, you know, I, I don't freaking know. I've had people correct me both ways. But what you want to do is remove these and make this shape into a, like a box. It's much easier for meshing. It's also going to kind of remove um, some of the complexity. It's not a huge deal, especially if your mesh is really fine. It's actually more accurate to leave them. But a lot of times you don't really care about leaving them if you have to get a mesh into all of this. You want to minimize the amount of elements that you have if possible. So if you want to remove these, you go to Simplify, Unfill It Face. And then the process that you have to take, because this can get kind of complicated when you have multiple interacting with each other. What I do is do the top first and then the bottom and then the connectors. So there's a few tools you can use. You can go, you click one, then you can hit find neighbor and it'll actually like select ones that are around. I actually don't want to select the bottom ones yet. I just wanted to point that out. You can um, use that tool. And what I'm going to do is just select all these along the top. And then you're just going to hit apply. So this is an example. Prepost is very temperamental. I just did that before just to make sure it worked. And it didn't work right there for some reason. So I re-imported the shape. And I'm going to go back, simplify. Untrimmed faces. We're going to select all the edges at the top. You know, if you get er if you get errors when you're trying it, just try and select them in order. Try and do a bunch of different things. So you select them all. And then we're going to go apply. Going to remove the uh, fillets. I'm going to keep calling them that until everybody sends me a lot of hate mail. And then going to keep going around and move the bottom ones. Perfect. And then we're going to remove the intermediate ones. And done. So that's how you remove them. But wait, you're not done because when you remove them, you're going to keep these dividing points, these red points, nodes. Yeah, they're, they'd be points, subdivision points along these edges. And what these are going to do is whenever you try and mesh to this part, it's going to want to put a vertices of an element on these points. So if you wanted to make these elements, you know, this big or whatever, it's going to automatically put one in this little square. You want to get rid of these and unless they're intentional, but they're not. 
what we're going to do is go to untrim surface here and then you're going to want to click the edges of all of these edges and it's going to show up as wires um, if you misclick and it shows up as face you can you can do it as well but you can remove it by going right click and then remove you can also hit clear to remove everything in the selection we're going to do the wires so click 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 Then what you're going to do is hit apply and it's going to trim some of them, most of them at least. Um, try it again if you want. But if it doesn't work for all of them, what you want to do is go to manual and then you're going to click them manually. So you're going to click the top edge here and then this bottom one and it's slightly more highlighted. Then apply and it's going to remove it. So you want to make sure you get rid of all of these. Really important. Um, otherwise you can really screw up your mesh and sometimes you won't understand why the mesh is doing something that's doing and you especially want to do it if you're using pre post to mesh because it uh, is very temperamental again like I said before so once you're done you won't have any more of those dots along the edges uh, and it'll be clean and nice to mesh so uh, that's how you remove fillets and remove the subdivision points and the last thing I'm going to show is how to create a surface, like a spline, uh, between different lines or surfaces. So what you want to do, uh, or so what I'm going to do, is delete this surface here. I go delete in Geometry Tool, click it, delete. So say you want to create a surface here. What you need to do is go into Surface, go into Inline, Inside, sorry inside and then you're going to click all the edges so uh, don't put auto close on um, I'll just do it normally to start and click all the edges and then you're going to hit apply and you can kind of visualize it here and hit apply and it's going to create that planner face again so this is a different part within inside there's a cert there, or there's a thing that you can do you can click try to stitch and what that's going to do is it's actually going to put it as part of the solid that you just made or part of the solid that you're editing so that stitches it automatically which is really nice that was a very easy one i will do a little more complicated one so let's go delete we'll delete that delete this this that'll be good so go back to surface go to inside and then we're going to click all of these edges And you can hit auto close, it, it'll automatically try and select all of the free edges, but it's a little more complicated. We're not complicated, risky. So you're going to see this kind of bubble and, you know, what what it's doing is following the best path of curvature that prepost thinks is possible. There are different methods. So this is continuity zero. You can click one and you see it's going to try kind of a different method and then you can try uniform fit. And that actually looks the best in this case. Uh, so it's not perfect, but if you want it to be perfect, what you could do is subdivide this and connect and then like redo this. But uh, you can hit apply and then there you go. It created that. So those are some tips. I'll make more of these that are a little more advanced, but this was just a beginner one. Um, things that a lot of people wonder, I use a lot. So let me know if this was helpful and I'll continue to do more and thanks for watching.